Hello world, it's that time of year again. One of the biggest events in gaming is back for another round of awards, reveals, and let's be honest, probably a whole load of controversy. As usual. <laughs> so today we'll be casting our votes in the Game Awards. We've taken a sneak peek at the first one just to make sure that our camera isn't in the way of the capture. But other than that, this will be our genuine reaction to all of the nominees. It is important to note though that the entire higher public opinion only counts for like 10% of the final score and there's a panel of judges that are responsible for the other 90%. This isn't fair in our opinion, we'd way rather a 50-50 ratio, but it is better to vote than to not vote, so here we are. Yeah, hopefully all of our votes work to sway some of the opinions of the corporate suits that are no doubt in charge of this. <laughs> yeah. But if you disagree with any of our choices, please let us know in the comments below. I'm sure that there's going to be games that we haven't played, and I'm sure that we're just going to make some wrong decisions. So please feel free to let us know. Don't forget to vote for that subscribe button down there, and give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on what way you find. But let's do this thing. The Game Awards 2021. <laughs> All right. Straight to the big bad boy. Straight into it. Now, what are we, what are we thinking? What are we going to do? I know what I'm thinking. I know what I'm thinking. I know what I'm thinking, B1. What are you thinking, B2? <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. That was my personal vote for Game of the Year before the nominees. Not what I was thinking. Really? I was thinking Metroid. Really? It's better th I spent more time with Ratchet and Clank than Laura did. Oh, we have a disagreement straight off the bat. Okay, so I think that we should each get a point that we can redeem. Well, I've got to redeem it now. I think Ratchet and Clank. I love Metroid, don't get me wrong. Metroid Dread may be the best Metroid game ever. No, it is. No, it is the best Metroid is, game yeah, ever. It is, yeah. Yeah, no, it is. But Ratchet and Clank. All right, so your redemption is... Yeah. Yep, I think so. one redemption. All of these myself. games are really good, but Ratchet and Clank was my pick before I even saw the nominees. So mm. I gotta, I got to give it to Ratchet and Clank. Best Game Direction for Outstanding Creative Vision and Innovation in Game Direction and Design. Yeah, I think it takes two Psychonauts and Ratchet and Clank are a good contender. I agree. Returnal and Deathloop aren't really our style of games, unfortunately. I know, sorry, don't hate us. I think Ratchet and Clank again though, to be honest. Well, I mean, the riffs are pretty up there in terms of innovation, aren't they? 100%. Like getting rid of the whole loading screen in between each hub world is... It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Best narrative. Okay. I love Guardian's narrative. Marvel always has good narrative. Absolutely. Big overarching story. Otherworldly. But then there's It Takes Two. And I'm pretty sure that Life is Strange is... Pretty up there in terms of story. I agree. They're way more down to earth and real. And I have a strong affiliation with It Takes Two because my parents were divorced when I was young. So I really feel that they weren't the best of friends either. So I really, I don't know, I connected with that game. Yeah, let's go It Takes Two. Yeah, is that, are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. Cool. Best art direction. Oh, okay. There's some good ones here. I'm really stoked that... All three of these made it. I think that, yeah, Kino Bridge of Spirits. Like, look at that picture. Nice. Good choice. Kino Bridge of Spirits is also an indie game and it's going up against like Ratchet and Clank and Psychonauts. Yeah. That's pretty special. I love the look of Psychonauts. I love that. 3D platformers are totally my jam. But Bridge of Spirits is just beautiful. That's what yeah. sold me on the game. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I took up. one look at that trial and was like, I need that game. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Best score and... <sighs> no! <laughs> Why is Cyberpunk in the running for anything for Game of the Year when it doesn't even work? No! As a game. I don't... I mean... Wait, what? I don't know about the music. Look, we never played Cyberpunk because it's Cyberpunk. It had way too many problems. We don't, we don't have time for that. Maybe the music works. I don't care if the music works. It the might game be, doesn't work. It might be the only it, thing. It shouldn't be nominated. 
Nah. Well, I feel controversy. like controversy. There it is. There's your controversy, everyone. <laughs> nah. Yeah, no, that's not that's not getting our vote. It's got to be Guardians. Yeah, that's got to pretty. I've heard really good things about the sound soundtrack in The Artful Escape, but classic rock, dude. Yeah. There's, it was always going to have a great soundtrack. This game wasn't it? Yeah. Go, pretty much. Done. Not Cyberpunk. Best audio design. Okay, so this is different from soundtrack. It's audio design. How does the audio Best the game. game audio and sound design. Well, I think that with any horror game, the sound plays a huge part in the in building the suspense. I 100% agree. Absolutely. That's exactly what I was thinking. Plays a big part in it, so yep. I would go that. Resident Evil deserves that for sure. Mm -hmm. 100%. Best performance, voice acting, motion, and or performance capture. Got to be Anton Castillo, doesn't it? Whenever you think of Far Cry, you think you of think that of guy. You think of this guy. It's him. Done. He's the guy. He is the guy. The guy of Far Cry. <laughs> Games for impact. Oh, man. This is hard. Yeah, that is a toughie. I haven't played any of these games. Chicory looks amazing, though. I really want to play it. I have, it does look super cute. haven't heard of it, actually. Yeah, well, it's tough. What do we go for, then? I've heard of one of these games. I reckon Life is Strange. That's the only one I've even heard of. Seems like it's got a big impact. I'm happy. I'm happy. Best ongoing. All right. Not a huge fan. Love Final Fantasy. Not a huge fan. Genshin Impact is Huge amazing. fan. Done? Yep. That's my Done. for sure. Done. Best, Best indie. indie. Ooh. I love a good indie. I find heaps of indies this year that aren't here. Yeah. They deserve to be here. Littlewood. Garden Story. Garden Story, yeah. There are some indies that have missed out on. Bridge of Spirits, though. I love Bridge of Spirits. Yeah. Done. Best mobile game. I don't really play games on my mobile. Me neither, but I have played Pokemon Unite, and I rate it, so... I agree. It's a great game. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Best community support what a weird category man outstanding community support transparency and responsiveness inclusive of social media activity and game updates slash patches i i don't know i honestly don't know i don't follow any of these games on social media i know that fortnite has a pretty big social media presence but I think I would rather my vote go to a Final Fantasy game. I agree with that. I'm so glad you didn't say Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Innovation in accessibility. Recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology and content to help games be played and enjoyed by an even wider audience. So does this mean that the game is accessible to somebody of any age? It's accessible to anyone and everyone. A 10 year old will have just as much fun with it as a 30 or a 40 year old. Cause if that's the case, then I think it's Ratchet and Clank. But if we're talking about technology, which it specifically states, uh -huh. making the game more accessible then day one game pass, triple A title, Xbox studios, gotta be Forza. I think it's gotta be Forza, yeah. Is that how you interpret this question? That's how I, well, I think that both interpretations may be correct, but it explicitly mentions features and technology. And I reckon that having a game like Forza be available on day one it's and Game special. Pass. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty special. That's it? accessible. Yep. Cool. Oh, I wish I had VR. Yeah, we don't have VR. So, uh, Resident Evil. Okay. I would like to play, if I went into a store and I had to pick one to play in VR, it would be Resident Evil, so. I'm more than happy with that. Oh, here we go. The genres. I like this. I like genres. Best action game. Deathloop and Returnal, again, not for us. Back for Blood. It was good, but I love Far Cry. I mean, look, I haven't played it for that long, but what I have played... It's pretty good. 
Yeah, let's go Far Cry. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Best action adventure. Ooh. Now this is a good group. Of is this game of the year? No, not Guardians. No, Deathloop's not in there. It's pretty. Is that the only difference? I think it is. I think it is the only difference. Wow, actually. yeah. Go action adventure. Good category of games, apparently. I know where my vote's going. I didn't win the last one, so. Oh, are you pulling your, your card? I might pull my card. You got. For Metroid? Yep. Fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll take that. It's epic. Yeah, no, we voted Ratchet and Clank in Game of the Year, so totally fair. <laughs> Best. No! What are they doing? How in good faith can you? How are you not crying right now? <laughs> what? I'm holding back the tears. What is wrong? What is wrong with the Game Awards? Why? <laughs> it doesn't work! Yeah, so we were talking to our friend the other day, yesterday actually, and he's reached a point in the story where he cannot continue because it's broken. The character that he needs to talk to in order to progress in the main story it will not appear. He doesn't exist. So how can you, in good faith, put your vote to that in the Game Awards? In some, if it wins any sort of category, right, people are going to be like, oh, maybe I'll try that game, and then they're going to be ripped off essentially because they're not going to be able, might not be able to complete the story. Oh. So. We just vote for something so we can get away. It's making me angry. I reckon Monster Hunter Rise or really? Shimigami Tensei. I was thinking so Shimigami anticipated. Tensei. I, I haven't spent a lot of time with it. Got released recently. Haven't nowhere near finishing it, but I really enjoyed what I have played. And Monster Hunter's just, it's not as much of an RPG. It's not so heavy on the story. It's definitely an RPG, but I feel like the story is more present in Shimigami Tensei, so. It's it's a classic RPG. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's gotta be Just Nickelodeon or yeah. Star Brawl. Yeah, we had heaps of fun playing this one on Twitch. I hope it wins. Me I too. Hope yeah, it, it, it deserves it. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun game. This family. Oh, this is Nintendo section. Yeah, you're so right. Absolutely it is. Appropriate for family play. Okay. I think this should be like a multiplayer game that you can play with your family. I think that that would, yeah, I yeah. think that sounds Are you appropriate. you happy with that? I love Pokemon Snap, but I feel Me like too. if it's the best family game, then in my opinion, it would be one that you can play with your family. So I, agree. I reckon Mario Party Superstars or WarioWare, but I think Superstars okay. takes it for me. More than happy with that. I was tossing up between the two. I love Bowser's Fury, but it's not a multiplayer game. Yeah. I'm happy. Mario Party. Great family game. Can't go wrong with that. Strategy and Sim. Age of Empires. Evil oh. I love the first one. Age Super of Empires excited for is this to release. Classic. I love the old one. Super excited for this to release. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, remember, neither of us have a card anymore. Remember so. getting it in your cereal box. Yeah, but that's not the one you got in your cereal box. It's the latest one. Microsoft Flight Sim is also a really good game. Yeah, agreed. Okay, let's go Evil Genius. Yes, Evil Genius. <laughs> Great. Underrated game. Underrated. <laughs> Best sports slash racing. Hot yeah. Wheels. <laughs> You're not serious, right? No, I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. But Hot Wheels is good. But I love Hot Wheels. It, it has so to be Forza, right? I think Forza deserved a nomination in Game of the Year. It might I just agree. be the best looking game of all time. I know. We were discussing it on our podcast the other day and... Yep. Stunning. It, de it deserves a Game of the Year nomination, so it has to win this. Yeah. It has to win this. Best multiplayer. Okay. All right. There's some good games here. Monster Hunter Rise is a fun multiplayer game. Yeah, I agree. I love couch co-op, though. I yeah. I love couch co-op. There's something about it. Couch co-op is where it's at. Yep. One copy of the game. You and your friend with a controller. It's you know a what? pretty I'm good experience. Towards, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. It takes two? Yeah. Yeah. Done. All these games are great. I just think it takes two is really special. Yeah. Content creator of the year. Okay. 
Beat em ups. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. where's beat em ups? <laughs> um, I'm not hugely familiar with any of them, to be honest. This guy streams sports. Not a huge fan of sports. <laughs> I reckon Foosley. I'm, I'm happy with that. No worries at all. Best debut indie. Bridget I... Spirits making an appearance again. Didn't even realise that Valheim was in the game. Well, it's huge. That's a pretty good sign, I think. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I didn't even realise it was an indie because it's that's so big. That's how popular it is, so. Oh, I love getting a Bridge of Spirits, though. Yeah, but like, okay, I don't know. You're right. You're right. I... That's an epic. That's the I put my debut, in isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for a debut, they've done well. Uh, undoubtedly, mm -hmm. they have done well. Most anticipated oh. game. Oh, you saw it before I did, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. It would be a sin to pick any yeah. of us. Although I'm excited about all of these games, but it would Horizon be a sin. Horizon is my second pick. Not to choose Breath of the Wilds. Mm -hmm. I loved Horizon Zero Dawn. Super excited for Horizon Forbidden West. But I'm more excited for Breath of the Wild too. Yeah. Absolutely. Undoubtedly. Best esports game. Esports game. Has to be League of Legends, doesn't it? It's, it's, it's just a classic esports game. I, when I think esports, I think League of Legends. Mm -hmm. Classic. Not huge into esports, though. Yeah, I must but say. But I think. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know any of these guys. Who, I'm going to admit. Who has the kindest eyes? <laughs> the kindest eyes. Not this guy. Look at him. He's staring he into his soul. Look at this guy. He looks evil also. This guy looks nice. He looks nice. I think Simple looks nice. He does look nice. He's the only one smiling. Uh, okay. I he like gets... the look of tens. Simple gets a smile vote, All right. I think. Done. I'm Nobody happy. else is smiling. Good on so. you, Simple. For looking nice, you get our vote. Kind eyes. <laughs> oh, uh. Again. Um, League of Legends? Yeah, let's go, League, go of League of Legends. Legends. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Sorry, we should watch more esports. I know. You know what? Like, I would love to go watch some. Yeah, we should watch it live. Yeah. Oh god, I don't coach. know the teams, let alone a coach. Well, let's pick the one that's smiling again. He's got the kindest of eyes. Um. Not any the of the first one. three. I agree. Yeah, this last guy. I agree. Smiles always get my yeah, vote. Yeah, they. No one they else win. is smiling. They look me. I know. Best esports. Oh god. Best esports event. Okay. Mm. League of Legends. <laughs> I guess. Sorry. Valorant Championships. Nah. We'll that looks it. pretty cool though, doesn't it? Like. Wow. Well, they've got like. We fitting, earned a so. badge. Hey. That's nice. Wow. Is that it? That's it. Oh. That was kind of anticlimactic, wasn't it's it? It's fun. I love how you can place your own votes. Yeah, I really I like that. I agree. It's way better than IGN or something like that, where it's literally just the people that work for IGN that vote for it. Yeah. At least, might only be 10%, but at least the public have a say in it. I like it's more interactive. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> it is fun. Well, there you have it. Game Awards 2021. What did you guys think of it? Let us know in the comments below if there's anything that should have made an appearance that didn't, or if you were just happy with everything. There's some controversy. There is. Plenty of it to discuss down below. I can think of one in particular. Yes. So before we go, we thought that we would let you all know that we've actually started a podcast. Yay. Exciting news. So we've teamed up with The Low Grade Gamer, a gaming retailer in Australia. And we are going to be creating some weekly episodes so that you'll never miss out on any of your gaming news. Those are available on Spotify and anywhere else that you listen to podcasts, pretty much. Absolutely. Next week's topic is actually the Game Awards. So if you want to hear more about our thoughts and opinions and the low-grade gamers' thoughts and opinions, then check out some low-grade gamers. Nice little, let's see what we did there. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> nice little mashup. Absolutely. Thanks so much for sticking with us, guys. We love all of you. And until next time, bye.